Welcome to the Radiation Database, the wild world of science nonfiction. My name is Jim Lee, uh, Resonated.com, Resonated.net, ClimateViewer.com, and I'm here to give you a big update on weather modification and uh, really straighten out a lot of things that people are concerned about. Uh, climate Engineering Exposed, Weather Modification and Geoengineering Research page on Resonated.com slash WXMod. This page is dedicated to you disproving all you tin foil hat, comment posting, sock puppets, trolls, and e bastards. Herein you will find the most complete directory of weather modification related companies, associations, and related research on the net. This is the culmination of about two years worth of research. Um, it started out as a Google Earth project where I was just trying to find as many weather modification actual pro projects or programs to because at the time two years ago if you said that people modified the weather or did anything um, there'd be a thousand people there to immediately jump you and comment and attack you well um, things have kind of changed there's more of a public awareness of the world of uh, weather modification and geoengineering but I don't think anybody's really fleshed it out um, Recently, there was uh, two documentaries, What in the World Are They Spraying and uh, Why in the World Are They Spraying. Um, I would submit to you that neither one of those followed the you know, basic premise of you know, getting to the bottom of a, of a problem. And that is who, what, when, where, why, and how. And they really didn't answer those questions. So what I seek to do was you know answer those questions and put it in a format where anybody can really you know see how big the picture is and it's a very big picture so uh, on this page you can find weather modification companies such as uh, Raytheon talking to the weather modification association the University Corporation of Atm Atmospheric Research National Center for Atmospheric Research and the list goes on. Weather derivatives guys, people who uh, bet on the stock market or insure crops. A timeline of uh, weather derivatives. The Weather Modification Association, their members. Texas Weather Modification Association. U.S. Military and other this list will grow exponentially this is only the first go round people <laughs> I need you to submit your companies if you know of a company it's not on the list email me it's on the front page of resonated.com or click more weather modification projects this is uh, the NOAA weather modification programs listings um, I don't know how you know <laughs> if this is everything that was done that year but at least this is supposedly everything that was reported I got these from agriculture defense coalition dot org uh, Rosalind Peterson's excellent website here you can see a Google map that you can uh, zoom in and actually look at these programs some of them um, I'm still working on this this map will change and you can, can click earth right here and uh, click over to like a 3d version of it pretty pretty cool as well click up here and it'll click you over to climate viewer my other program and you can use the full 3d version and really get in there and be nosy be real nosy um, more programs um, this this as well all of these pages will grow over time um, the majority of what you're seeing here uh, came from a WordPress blog post that I did a year and a half ago and all most of this information was in that one post um, but I had to really flesh it out so here we are geoengineering projects this is from etc group the world of geoengineering and you have hundred and fifty one pages of geoengineering projects and programs I will be adding each of these to the map they're currently not on there but they will be appearing on this map very soon and coming back real quick and climate in engineering patents um, again this is my initial list from a year and a half ago it will grow I'm sure very cool stuff so 
On to the legal, we have uh, weather modification federal regulations, such as you know the, how you report, uh, who you report to, you know all of the legal ramifications. Uh, weather modification court cases, people who got sued for causing floods or droughts. Very interesting stuff there. Uh, weather modification reporting forms. Here's the actual form from corporateservices.noaa.gov where you initial report on weather modification activities with a follow-up um, page that will show you uh, the interim report here where you actually write down how it all came out, what you used. No conspiracies here people, just the facts. Then uh, more uh, more on the laws. If you if you're into the laws, get into that stuff. If not, if you want pictures, come over here to the history starting in 1890. Some of the old history of uh, rain making. Real good one, Charles Mallory Hat Hatfield, uh, the moisture accelerator. He made uh, rain for L.A. caused a flood, and then when the flood happened, they wouldn't pay the the Indian and. Uh, you know, because if they paid him, then obviously they'd be admitting to destroying half the city. And then Widespread Panic did a great song about it. Check that out. And uh, into the next cat, uh, 1946 cloud seeding with uh, Vincent Schaefer and Project Storm Fury and all of the gory details. Cloud seeding, cloud seeding still goes on today, uh, either by plane or ground. You got uh, flare trees that'll shoot them up in the air, or you got uh, planes that'll burn flares behind them. Snowpack augmentation, where they have these uh, flare trees. They burn, from what I understand, all year long. Um, and then a little bit on hurricane mitigation. I will be fleshing this out as a full article at some point in the future, because I got a lot of new stuff on that. And, uh, of course, Bill Gates, the hurricane tamer. Good stuff. And then uh, cloud ionization. Most people don't even know about this, but um, these are guys that use um, ions, and electricity, electrical charges to uh, make clouds, supposedly, allegedly. <laughs> and I've even got you know the, the the patents in there for that. So you know they do have patents on the book for this stuff. Atlant, Aqueous, the Global Rain Project. These guys are uh, moving entire continent size uh, tropospheric rivers using a, a combination of satellites and all kinds of stuff. U.S. Navy, um, private investors. Ionogenics uh, had a whole series of towers down in Mexico. The list goes on. I actually have two more stories to add to this in the future. Good stuff. Um, then finally, geoengineering. Uh, we all know where that goes. Supporters, um, these are people who have statements, uh, you know, that you know say, "Hey, let's do some weather modification or geoengineering." And that will grow. And detractors, you have my official position statement, which is, "I intend to push for greater transparency in the world of climate engineering." I would like to see a national registry available online showing up to the minute atmospheric research mitigation modification projects and programs as well as federal regulation requiring all aerial spraying campaigns be announced on local news during the weather forecast portion of the program. This will ensure that the public is promptly informed and when the weather turns on its masters they are held accountable for the damage and or loss of life. Um, I think that's a big, big, important step. Um, right now, that you know, they've got all this stuff on the books about how you have to report it. You got to report to NOAA. You got to fill out the little form. Um, but when it comes down to it, I'm sure there's still a lot of people who don't even fill out that form. Um, there, there's got to be some way to to ensure that anybody who is doing um, atmospheric transport testing or cloud seeding or you know any type of you know um, <laughs> artificial ionospheric mirror generation using barium and other rocket um, you know exhaust fumes any of that stuff we should be notified um, and there there's got to be a way to push for that and I'm gonna come up with something in the near future and we'll we'll write it up and everybody can kind of you know help me make sure that it's right and we'll get it up on the whitehouse.gov and try to push for it 
Um, but I, I think that's something that's doable. I think that with um, all the conspiracy, you know, stuff surrounding chemtrails and all of the con the, the real concern that people have, that um that it's their you know duty to acknowledge that we are concerned and we should be notified. Um, Sunshine Act, baby. Sunshine Act. Um, also, you got the climate engineers playing God to save the planet. I highly suggest everybody read this one. I mean, it's just, this is some great, great inside details. Uh, it's where I got my logo from. I edited this. Pretty awesome. Very, very good, good details in this one. Please read it. Um, the Pathological History of Weather and Climate Modification. Um, another really good one in Rosalind Peterson Agriculture Defense Coalition. Check her website out. The, the woman's got amazing, amazing research. Um, finally, uh, chemtrails planned and inadvertent weather modification. Now, a lot of people talk about chemtrails and they say, oh, chemtrails don't modify the weather. I call BS. Here's your proof. Show it to anybody in the future that calls you a uh, tinfoil hat wearing fool or whatever. You tell them. Chemtrails do modify the weather. The American Meteorological Society acknowledges it. Here's three videos on YouTube. They came from the AMS. These are where they explain in detail how it works. Your face. So um, there you go. Bonus, right? Um, and a history of U.S. secret human experimentation. This is kind of how they get away with doing this stuff because on the books they can do it for any peaceful purposes that is, are related to medical therapeutic pharmaceutical agricultural industrial or research activity so yeah they can spray all the chemicals they want in the air right now because of this law and their ability to do it for research or agricultural reasons <laughs> so that that that's another one we're going to need to work on people but lots of uh, documented cases where people were not notified and bad things happened there you go so why am I so concerned why did I um, spend all this time making this website because every day you don't uh, care we're one step closer to carbon taxes unilateral planetary scale geoengineering weaponized weather and the blue gold rush if you don't know what those four things are you need to find out right now and quit wasting your time with a lot of other things this is very serious and it needs our attention and then as well um, harp terrorism and futzing with the West screwing with the weather um, environmental event contracts are uh, traded on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange the Nadex um, they go by many names of uh, weather derivatives um, you know basically it's crop insurance uh, things like that you know you can in, you can bet on um, temperatures you can bet against hurricanes um, there's all kinds of things going um, the commodity and futures trade uh, commission was uh, doing a, a question and answer period saying hey you know should we look into doing something about these event contracts and they got a response um, it's right here and uh, I suggest everybody read through this one because uh, it really goes right to the heart of how scary this could be and probably is so um that's that's my uh, info for now uh, this will probably get fleshed out in more details in the near future but if you have information that I've missed if you if you find something that's incorrect please uh, email me and let me know um, I think that uh, if we work together on this we can definitely uh, change uh, change the policy pay, change the status quo um, it's, it's uh, 2012. Anything's possible. Stay strong.